yet another night where adversity was more an impetus than an impasse. Rangers at much less than their best for so much of tonight, but in the end, another win. For the ninth time in the last 10 games, the Rangers come out victorious, this time in a shootout, 4-3 over the Columbus Blue Jackets. Welcome inside our Delta MSG studios, John Giannone and Steve Valiquette. Rangers turnovers were the story of the night, really, but then the turn of events that occurred late really became the headline, and it was Alexi Lafreniere stepping forward. Steve, this guy now has seven goals. He had seven goals last season in 46 games. Yeah. February 6th was the night where he scored his seventh goal of the year. He has seven goals in mid-November. Do you know that he's on pace for 44? How about that? Mm -hmm. And on top of that, five on five scoring, okay? Austin Matthews, Kyle Connor, Alex Debrinkit all have seven goals at five on five this year. Artemi Panarin has six and he's fourth. Lafreniere has five. Mm -hmm. Like, this guy is coming, and the best news of the night is that he's on the ice at six on five. Because when you need a goal, you go to guys that you know can get you one, and he's on the back post to put it away. And let's not even talk about the move in the shootout. Yeah. I mean, the guy is right. playing with so much confidence, and it's great to see. This is his breakout. And this move, let me tell you how hard this is to stop. It is a change of angle of almost eight feet. When you go all the way from the left-handed side to the right on the backhand, you can't see it, you can't stop it. Quick comes up big, as he did all night long. Lafreniere is all smiles. The boys love it. They're having a good time. Lafreniere's night, though. 11 seconds 11 left. 11 seconds left. And for him to be able to do that, John, be in the right spot, be patient, know when to dive in. His goal at five on five is backdoor beauty, able to finish again over the pad. And you look at his game and you're happy with how he's playing because how he connects with his teammates. Panarin gets a stop in the neutral zone and look at Lafreniere on the bench ready to hop. He gets on side and right when Trocek sucks in too, the play again here is the pass because Trocek gets jumped in the circle. The right knee of Merzlikens is down early. That opens up the pathway for the pass. And there's a lot that goes into that, but the detail starts in the neutral zone and I thought the team did a great job of being able to understand if we can get stops against this team, we can counter on them. They did leave a lot to be desired in this game. And Columbus hung around longer than they should have. But when things don't go your way and you're faced with adversity, it can either make you bitter or better. In this case, it made the Rangers better. They grew again from this one because you're going to play against teams during a long season that you may undervalue. And I know that happened. That's a thing tonight. The Rangers started out a little cute because they thought it was going to be easy, and then it got hard and tight, and they found a way. I mean, it's great for them to know that they can still pull it out, John. And, uh, you know, I never doubted it. Do you yeah. know? Yes, you did. <laughs> yeah. uh, I mean, and I mentioned the word adversity. There was a lot of it in this game. Yeah. Rangers gave up two goals in 19 seconds. Rangers had a puck that was over the line that the officials ruled for whatever reason they didn't think was over the line enough for it to be a goal. There was an injury as well. Ryan Lindgren got knocked out of the game, and yet through it all, albeit against one of the worst teams in the NHL, Rangers still come out ahead 4-3 in the shootout. Let's begin the reaction in the Ranger dressing room. Michelle Jingris talking with the Rangers with Mika Zibanejad, who played his 500th NHL uh, game with the Rangers tonight. In the third period, you guys were out shooting Columbus 19-3. Tell me about just sticking together throughout that period to finally get some results. Yeah, um, I think we uh, we talked before the third, um, basically just saying leave it all out there, uh, just win the third. Um, if it was one nothing, two nothing, or whatever it might be after 60 minutes, it doesn't really matter. Uh, we just make sure we win the third period and we go from there. And um, yeah, I mean it was it was um, I thought it a much better third than the, the other two periods and. Um, nice feeling getting the win. What's impressing you right now about the way Alexi Lafreniere is playing? I mean, he's he's um, he's playing hockey uh, with a lot of confidence and, and just making plays. He's obviously working hard, and um, he is uh, he's he's balling out there right now. So that's uh, it's it's really fun to see uh, and just see how he plays and, and the way he's he's uh, developed the chemistry with. Uh, Bread and, and uh, Troach now too. That's uh, that's a fun light to watch. 
what does it mean for you just to get the win before a few days off, you know, to regroup and all that? How much how much emphasis did you guys put on that tonight? Um, yeah, I mean, we we, uh, we want to we're going to have to live with this one for, for some days now. So uh, I think in terms of just, you know, wanting to win this game to to have a few days here when when uh, we get some rest and, and get ready for uh, Saturday's game. Um, I think it was you know, everyone wanted to win. Uh, feels a lot better going on a little mini break here with the win and, and, and uh, continuing the season that we have so far. Um, and yeah, we uh, we came through. And lastly, just what did Jonathan Quick mean to you guys tonight? Uh, big. Uh, I think in the second period when we were uh, batting a little bit to to get our, out of our own zone, he was there. Um, came up with big saves and, and uh, kept us in the game and gave us a chance to win. Thank you. Good 30,000 foot view of what just transpired tonight and now moving forward with five days off from Mika Zibanejad, right? Yep. I mean, you get the sense that there was a level of importance placed before, during and after on going into this break with a win. I think they just thought it was going to be easier. And the good news is when it got hard, they had a great pushback. Look, they didn't get frustrated. Frustration's a wasted emotion anyway. Uh, when I was in the room and I saw somebody getting frustrated, I always thought that was a sign of immaturity. And I didn't see that from the Rangers in this game. I thought that they were very mature with their approach. They stayed on the process. They got away from playing loose in the first, started playing a little more straight line down the running of the game, especially in the third period. But they made the right decisions defensively to be able to help them get in through and get through this. Like, this got hard. And I don't think they thought it was going to get this hard, but they still found another push, another level. Alexi Lafreniere, a goal in the second period, a goal with 11 seconds left in the third to tie it, and then the goal in the shootout, the backhand roof shot, which enabled the Rangers to win. Here are his reactions after the game. So take me through that shootout goal first. Did you know what you were going to do going into it, or did you kind of get up there and decide in real time? Yeah, I didn't really know what to do. Um, you know, just trying to get close to the goalie and see what's open and, uh, you know, just try to score a goal, so it was good. You're doing that. What's working so well for you right now? Um, playing with really good line mates, I think. Um, you know, our, our Troach has been really good for us. Brett is unbelievable. So um, just playing with good players and um, trying to get open and, you know, they usually find me. Mika said the message going into the third was just to leave it all out there. What impressed you about the way your team battled together, 19 shots on goal in the third period? I think we played well. Um, you know, we knew we had a couple of days, uh, a couple of days off coming, so, uh, you know, just try to leave it out there, and uh, that's what we did. Uh, I think we played a really solid third. How about picking it up after Ryan went, went out? You were playing shorthanded and still came from behind. How big was that? Yeah, um, you know, he's a big player for us. Um, hopefully he's all right, and, uh, you know, hopefully he's back soon. And, you know, we just, you know, the, our Ds were really good today. So, uh, you know, they were down to five, but they still played really well. I'm just curious how many times you're going to watch the highlight of that shootout goal tonight when you get home? Probably zero. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Alexi, how would you describe, do you hear the, the way the building erupts when that goal goes in with 11 seconds left? How would you describe that moment? Yeah, that was cool. The um, crowd was really loud tonight, and uh, you know, just to tie it that late, it was, uh, it was fun. In that, in that moment, it's just, just trying to crash the net, get as close as you can, hunt for rebounds. I mean, what, what's the mindset there? Was there much of a message at that timeout that you guys had? Yeah, just try to bring pucks in the net. Um, Kreitz made a really good play, just um, trying to pass it to me, and uh, you know, it went in, so it was really good. The, the, the goal earlier where, where Troj leads you, I mean, it seems like you guys have had a lot of those plays off the rush. Like, what's working so well for you guys off the rush recently? Uh, I don't know, just... Uh, Troch has a lot of speed, so he can open up stuff for us. And, uh, you know, just obviously Brett's going to make a lot of plays too. So, like I said, just try to get open. Has something clicked or changed for you from a confidence standpoint over these past couple weeks where you're able to deliver like this? Uh, I don't know. Just try to work hard in the summer and, um, you know, try to have fun out there and um, get better, I think, at practice too. Um, so, obviously, uh, just try to keep going and keep playing uh, good hockey. Do you allow yourself to, to feel good about the way things are going for you personally recently? Yeah, but I think it's still really early in the season. Um, you know, we got a lot of games to play, so uh, just trying to stay consistent and keep playing well.